What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Last week, Lee Cheon released her second mini album and this title track, Knock. Uh, I did hear her debut song. I heard uh, Hush Rush and <clears throat> I thought it was a fine song. Uh, no nothing really to take away from it or to write home about. It was just a nice song. Uh, so it didn't make the channel. Uh, it has since though made playlist. And the reason why is because it wasn't until I watched her It's Live uh, performance of that song that I realized really what it was about uh, and uh, and what her thing is about and it's about her style like her her look her her vibe and that it's live performance like knocked me on my feet like it had me so smitten uh, with her so I'm super excited to hear the next thing and we are going to go back and listen to the rest of that uh, that debut album, and we're going to check out this whole album as well. But we're going to start with Knock. So, all right, let's go. This is Lee Cheon with Knock. All right. I remember that from the highlight medley. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought I recognized that picture and that one. Kurt Cobain. Oh, Nirvana. This is at their unplugged session, their MTV session. Oh, and that it looks like Courtney Love. But that looks like a bass, and I thought Courtney played guitar. Okay, so just a wall of, of Nirvana. I wonder if that's just uh, to provide some kind of edginess, or is that is like she really into that? All right, let's go back, and uh, let's just start from the beginning. Interesting. The whole wall of Nirvana. It's nice. No. Yes. Ooh. That camera work and that section. I love it. And I love the, the camera work. Oh, stop. That is so good. You didn't knock on my heart. You freaking kicked the door in. Holy shit. Girl, you need to stop. Hold on. Let me go back a little bit. Let's not pause there. Okay. Wow. Yeah, she kicked the freaking door in. She got my attention with the it's live, but this is like just boom. Like she just stormed in. Holy shit. This is so good. They did such a good job with the camera work uh, because obviously she's a, a great uh, dancer and you can sense that, right? You can see that, but that camera work just accentuates it and it also accentuates her power. And this is just a personal thing, right? It might just be because her, you know, her look uh, is my vibe, like really my vibe. And it's, it's that little bit of darkness, like when she looks at the camera and when she looks at you essentially, right, you can just see that there's more behind those eyes. And that's what the, uh, the vibe that I get from her that, that I feel like she could be super powerful with that just from the look, right? But now seeing this... Yeah, talent-wise, music-wise, too. It's not just the look. She is going to be super powerful. Holy shit. Let's go back. It's more youthful, but she gives me Chung Ha vibes. And eventually, she could be Chung Ha powerful. I 
I love it. And that B section is everything. She's so beautiful. If she ever goes dark, God help us. Yeah, if she ever goes dark, she's going to kill it. That was sick. She knows it too. With the way she controls that camera, the way she stares us down, even when she's smiling, she's not smiling. It's it's almost like a smile, but it's restrained in some way. And that's what I mean. Like if she ever goes dark or just more serious, she's gonna kill it just like she killed this. And yeah, I, I have a feeling like with enough time and enough uh uh, uh, just more under her belt, right? Like just releasing more songs, getting more confident. Obviously, she doesn't look less con uh, unconfident, but I'm just saying, as you grow into that soloist role, she could be Chung Ha powerful. And especially as the music matures as well. This is a great song. It's not too youthful. It's like right in that middle range. Uh, and it's super, super, super nice. And definitely playlist. If you enjoyed this content, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time. Peace.